Apollo 13, the miracle of duct tape and genius that saved three lives. Boom, the sound punches through the void of space. Lights flicker, alarms scream. You're 200,000 miles from Earth and your ship is dying. Oxygen hisses into the void. Houston, we have a problem. Your hands shake, the moon fades from view. Now the only mission is survival. April 11th, 1970. Apollo 13 launches, a routine moon mission. But 56 hours in, disaster strikes. An oxygen tank explodes, ripping apart the service module. Power fails, heat vanishes. The command module becomes a coffin. Suddenly, three astronauts are stranded in a freezing airless tin can. The world stops breathing. NASA's new goal? Bring them home, or bury them in the stars. Inside the crippled ship, Lovell, Hayes, and Swigert cram into the lunar module, a tiny lifeboat built for two, not three. Carbon dioxide climbs, frost coats the walls. Engineers on Earth work 24-7, inventing fixes with duct tape, cardboard, and prayers. Flight director Gene Kranz growls, failure is not an option. A desperate plan, use the moon's gravity as a slingshot. But to nail the trajectory, the crew must fire the engine manually, using a hand-drawn crosshair and the Earth's horizon as a guide. One wrong decimal, drifting forever. The burn works. Now, re-entry. Will the shattered heat shield hold? April 17th, the Pacific Ocean swallows the charred command module. All three men survive. Apollo 13 becomes a successful failure, proof that genius thrives in chaos. NASA redesigns spacecraft, adds redundancies, and rewrites the playbook. But the real lesson? Human grit can outshine even the darkest void. You felt the cold bite. You pieced together scraps to scrub the air. You stared at Earth, a fragile blue marble, and wondered, is this the last thing I'll see? Could you have trusted slide rules and tape to save your life? They did. Not as heroes, not as legends. As astronauts, who turned certain doom into an anthem of hope. If this gave you chills, smash like to honor the problem solvers of Apollo 13. Subscribe for more tales of human defiance. And share this, because sometimes the universe needs a reminder. We don't quit.